Advances in technology influencing multimedia. Increased storage. Now we're going to look at increased storage kind of from two fronts and that those two fronts will be in primary and secondary storage. Okay, and essentially this affects the information processes of processing and storaging and retrieval. Okay, so increases the primary storage enable RAM to have a larger capacity, enabling more memory to be allocated to what's happening and being processed on screen. Okay, so when you're using your system and you're interacting with your system, everything that's on screen that you're interacting with is in RAM at that point. It's in live memory, which is primary storage. Okay, so the more RAM you have, the more efficiently that will run, okay? And you notice that when your RAM struggles, you get jitteriness or lag and all that. That's because your RAM's not up for it. So increases in RAM obviously improve the user experience. As said, the other side then is increases in secondary storage, okay, which allow more data to be stored on devices such as hard disk drives, solid state drives, and compact disks such as Blu-ray, okay? And this is so that we can actually store the data for like saving and for later use, okay? So whether it be that we're storing the data on our system that we're using for the multimedia system or storing that data for distribution on a disk such as Blu-ray or DVD, the larger the capacity is there, the more we can store on them. So let's take a look at an example here, and we'll look at gaming as our example. Okay, increases in storage have enabled more data to be stored on a gaming disc. Okay, the classic example is when the PS3 came out, it introduced Blu-ray. Okay, and Blu-ray obviously wasn't solely just on the PS3. Okay, movies were using Blu-ray as well, but it really changed the dynamics of how much could be stored on that disc. Okay, that actually allowed for more graphics, okay, and greater detail to be stored because there was that larger um, capacity on the actual disk to store larger graphics that in, had more intricate details, okay? We could make larger locations within the games, okay? The open world games were popularized during this generation. Your Red Dead Redemptions, okay? Your um, GTAs, okay? These open worlds where you could explore the world and their large, vast maps because we could fit all that into the disk, okay? We could fit more coding into the game, okay? Which could have involved compression of that data as well, okay? But obviously, we could put more into it once again. So overall, increasing the overall scope of the actual games, and then on a whole nother level there, the audio that comes along with the game, okay, that sets the atmosphere, okay, because we could fit all that onto this larger Blu-ray disc, it made these larger games that completely immersed users in these new worlds that we could explore as a part of the games. Ultimately, the more that is stored on a disc, the larger the game can be. It is also essential that the hardware has enough RAM to process all this stuff. So you need to have the RAM on the front end that the user is interacting with, as we said, the live data that's on screen, in order to optimize the gaming experience, okay, when we're actually using it. So let's take a quick look at these devices for the advances influencing technology in relation to increased storage. So firstly is the primary storage, and as we said, random access memory is the big one here. The actual chip that slops into your motherboard, and you can have multiple RAM chips there, that present live data okay so it assists in the processing of multimedia data okay it shows the presentation of data on screen okay the larger the capacity of RAM the larger the file sizes can be okay and obviously it will run more efficiency of those larger file sizes okay when displayed to the user on the other side we have our secondary storage Okay, and this is our hard disk drive and our solid state drive, and this is for obviously storing data on our system. Okay, so storage of the multimedia product on the system. Okay, can store uncompressed data when developing multimedia, because when multimedia files are raw, okay, meaning they have no compression applied and they're being developed essentially, so your raw image files, your raw video and audio files, they are large file sizes because no compression is um, being applied yet. Okay, so we need that storage space for that. So that's on the development side of it. Okay, not just when we're actually using the multimedia as well. And we need to understand too now, solid state drives, which are a chipset as opposed to a magnetic disk of a hard drive, they operate a lot faster. Okay, and um, that technology is what's also in your USB flash drives and SD cards. Okay, they operate a lot quicker than the traditional hard drive there. And then finally, we'll look at optical disks. And as we said, they're good for distribution. Okay, so the storage of multimeter product for distribution. So our Blu-ray disks for distributing our games. Okay, but also they have a larger capacity. Okay, by having a larger capacity, it means more data can be distributed. We can distribute a bigger game. Okay, and these days it's very common too that we distribute the game and then there's 
a download straight away of more files to our system via the internet to build on that game before we can actually play it. Okay, and usually these optical discs as well have installation files when we want to install an operating system onto a system. Though these days as well, there's other ways of doing that through the internet too. Okay, and with this, Blu-ray has the largest capacity. So essentially what we need to understand here, the larger the file size or capacity of, of data that these things can handle, the better quality multimedia you're gonna be using. So on the side of RAM, essentially the more RAM you have, okay, the more live data you can have on screen, the more fluid the multimedia product will be presented. There'll be no jittiness or jagginess or lagging by the system. It should be more fluid, provided you have the sufficient RAM to support that. Then on the secondary storage side of things, obviously, okay, the more storage you have, okay, it's easier for developing products because we can store more files in their raw state as we're developing the multimedia product. But also storing the multimedia products in our system, we can store larger file sizes on our system through our hard drives and solid state drives. And then also optical disk for distribution of our multimedia products in the physical sense, okay? Obviously, we outside of using the internet and through app stores. So I hope this helps you understand the advances in technology through increased storage and how they influence multimedia systems.